regard this meeting today concept name is exception only exception what do you mean by exception exception is something when uh, your program is running something uncontrolled event happened and which create instruction in the program and which you not know while writing the program that something can come like this so that is exception and the exception handling is created for uh, created to handle such problems mm. for the smooth running of the program if something like this come so it can handle and while the program can go on yes while writing the java code while writing the java code there are some chances there are some chances the code which we have written while writing the java code there are some chances the code which we have written which we have written while writing the java code there are some chances the code which we have written can't executed by java while writing the java code there are some chances the code which we have written mm -hmm. can't execute it by java so such type of situation is known as so such type of situation is known as so such type of situation is known as exception hmm. come again sir what no nas exception while writing the java code there are some chances the code which we have written can't executed by java so such type of situation is known as exception after writing the java code sometimes java it will not execute so that that is called exception after writing the java code sometimes java it will not execute so that type of situation is known as exception there are two exceptions there are there are two exceptions there are two exceptions one is card exception one is card exception other one is uncard exception one is card exception other one is uncard exception there are two exceptions in java one is card exception card exception means while writing the java code if at all any missing like comma full stop bracket uh, semicolon if it is any missing automatically it will show you underline so if it is showing underline at any cost we, we we can rectify the problem so that is called card exception second one is uncard exception while writing the java code it will not show you while writing the java code if at all any missing java will not show you anything it will called uncard exception main problem is uncard exceptions only while writing the java code if at all any missing semicolon bracket 
any any anything 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 if it is anything missing or spelling mistake or whatever it is so if it is showing underline we can rectify the problem we can alert and we can rectify the problem main concept is main problem is uncaught exception while writing the java code if at all any missing it will not show you anything simply it will sit during execution it will not execute so that is called uncaught exception so if we want to find out the uncaught exception so we will use try catch finally if you want to find out the uncaught exception so we will use try catch finally where exactly we will use try where exactly we will use catch i will tell you after writing the java code after writing the java code if you have any doubt on any particular block of statements just to better to keep in try block what is the error we can get in catch block finally at any cost it will execute finally at any cost it will execute if you have doubt so, on any, uh, okay if you have so, doubt on I mean, any particular block just mm -hmm. better to keep in try block okay okay if so, you want to find so out what, the uncaught exception i'm talking about what is the use of caught block we are talking about uncaught uh, exception so far Hmm. So where where the caught exception comes in the picture? Caught exception is very common. Uh, so while writing the Java code, if you have any missing like uh, uh, bracket, semicolon, or anything, okay, it will show you part, underline. That so is, automatically we okay, can fix the problem. Okay, leave it. But that comes uh, as a uh, syntax error or caught exception. Anything, anything, uh, syntax error or spelling mistake, whatever it is, it will show you underline. So if it is showing underline, we can alert and we can rectify the problem. Why it is showing underline? So something is wrong. Okay, we can alert and we can rectify the problem. That is called caught exception. Uncaught exception means while writing the Java code, if it is any missing, Java will not show you any anything. Simply it will sit to, during execution. It will not execute. So that is called uncaught exception. If you want to find out the uncaught exception, so we will use try, catch, final. Where exactly we will use try? If you have doubt on any particular block of statements, so just to better to keep in try block. If you have doubt on any particular block of statements, just to better to keep in try block. Catch. What is that error we can get in catch block? Finally. At any cost, it will execute. If it is try executing or not, catch executing or not, finally it, it, it uh, finally at any cost, it will execute. Okay. No matter it has got some problem or not, but finally, it will anyhow it will execute, right? Compulsory it will execute. If it is try executing or not, catch executing or not, finally it will execute. So here finally is not important. So. How it is executing? If you want to know, that time we will use finally. And okay. here, just you need to remember only one point here. So, if you want to find out the uncaught exceptions, we will use try catch finally only uncaught exceptions. Okay. So, sir, sir, you said if you have doubt on any particular block of statements, so just to better to keep in try block, you said. Sir, I have hundred blocks, so uh, I have doubt on nearly fifty blocks. What should I do? That's your question. So, if you have doubt on fifty blocks, fifty times we should write try, and fifty times you should write catch. So, program will be lengthy. Instead of try and catch, we will use throws. We will use throws. Oh. Throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in Java. It can handle the all hundreds of exceptions, thousands of exceptions at a time. So in Java and Selenium, always we will use throws. Throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in Java. It can handle the all the exceptions at a time. It can handle the all the exceptions at a time. 
throws throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in java it can handle the all the exceptions at a time what is the main drawback in try and catch if you have doubt on only single block then we can use try and catch if you have doubt on multiple blocks that multiple times we should write to try and catch it. so program will be lengthy instead of try and catch always we will use throws throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in java it can handle the thousands of exceptions at a time it can handle the thousands of exceptions at a time it can handle the thousands of exceptions at that that is the concept here 10 interview questions what is the exception by writing the java code there are some chances the code which we have written can't executed by java so such type of situation is known as exception how many exceptions available in java there are two exceptions one is the card exception other one is uncard exception what do you mean by card exception while writing the java code if at all any missing java will show you underlined that is called card exception what is uncard exception uh, after writing the java code uh, while writing the java code if at all any missing java will not show you anything simply it will sit to during execution it will not execute so that is called uncard exception how to find out uncard exceptions so we will use try catch finally so what do you mean by try try is nothing but if you have doubt on any particular block of statements it's just better to keep in try block what do you mean by catch catch is nothing but after writing the java code if at all any uh, sorry while writing the uh, what do you mean by catch if at all after writing the java code if at all any missing here catch it will find out and finally what do you mean by finally so if it is try executing or not catch executing or not at any cost it will execute that is finally so what are the main drawbacks in try and catch if you have doubt on only particular block just better to keep in try and catch if you have doubt on multiple blocks that multiple times we should try try and catch so program will be lengthy so instead of try and catch always we will use throws what do you mean by throws throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in java it can handle the thousands of exceptions at a time okay okay that is the concept yeah. exception only <laughs> right we can write the program now throws throws is nothing but it is a predefined class in java okay right right, right. yes i'm taking one class that class name is ex concentrate array declare first of all s y s o control space good morning and declaring one array int how to declare array int and array name and then square bracket is equal to new and then array name and size int a equal new, to new and then the array size int size. array size i'm giving 4 yeah of 0 equal to 100 you have 3 equal to 300 Yeah, four equal six hundred. Here one card exception. What is that card exception? Sorry. Here, yeah, one card. One card exception. What is that? 
that's error not you have not used semicolon hmm so it will show you that is called cart exception so here 600 after i need to mention i need to mention semicolon but i didn't so that is called cart exception okay if it is showing underline i i can alert and i can keep the semicolon so that is called cart exception in this two lines we have one cart exception what is that one cart exception tell me here we yeah. have one cart exception what is that cart exception i told you uncart exception in the three lines we have one uncart exception what is that uh, which three line a0 uh, is equal to 100 uh, a3 is yeah we have like uh, this one uh, after uh, zero one two is missing no 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 that is not big issue leave it so no need to mention each and everything sometimes we can mention sometimes we can leave it that is the concept to tell me already mm. i told you yesterday only this is very very logical concept mm hmm mm. what is the uncard exception uncard exception how would i know an uncard exception so there are three lines we have one card uh, uncard exception already i told you in this three lines we have one uncard exception what is that yesterday i told you only one line 16 times 16 17 18 19 times i told you one word got it i mean array of index is start from zero ah uh, so so you are starting from zero mm so you have declared a uh, four i mean there should be five value and here are three values so this is an uncaught exception what is that what is the what is the uncaught exception that you are declaring five and giving only three values mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay you didn't get the point <sighs> what is uncut exception we can get it what is uncut okay. exception so in the catch block we can get it s y s o control space <laughs> E dot get message. Just I have wrote on this block just better to keep in try block. I have doubt on this block just better to keep in try block. What is that error? We can get in catch block. What is that error? What is that problem? Save, click on run. It will show you four. What is four? Why it is showing four? Okay, I don't know. So, if you want clear console in the, if you want clear console, we will use e dot print print stock trace. What is the error we can get in catch block very clearly? Save, click on run. Okay. Actually, array index start with zero. Right? Huh? Yes. I gave size is four. Right? Huh? Yep. Zero, one, two, three. Enough. If you write four, that is the uncard exception. But I wrote 
a of 4 is 600 that is the uncaught exception so java will not show you any error it is not showing any error okay that is called uncaught exception got it ah you got it here yeah it should be 0 uh, to 3 0 1 2 3 enough two, three. yeah not 4 not 4 yeah i got it whenever i am writing 4 you need to show error but it is not showing any error so that is called uncut exception so java it is not showing any error if you want what is the mistake or what is the error so if you want to know we can get in catch block here print stock trace what is the main error we can get here catch block e dot print track trace okay java long array index out of bond exception 4 okay we can find out using this catch block right finally at any cost it will execute if it is try executing or not catch executing or not at any cost it will execute okay i will write final block also next finally Now, if I execute, save, click on run, observe carefully. Now, good morning is coming, calm, on, 4 is coming, and Java index out of band exception is coming, Tata is coming, Buy is coming. But, uh, hello Java, how are you? Why not coming? Why it is not coming? First question. Because it is there in uh, try, try block. Hmm. Anything we put in funny block, it has to execute no matter what comes in. So that's why it is executing. One second, repeat. I'm saying uh, in finally block, if you want to execute the code, it will get executed no matter what happens. So that's why the buy is coming. Hmm. And where is in tribal log, if exception come, it will not execute. It will throw the exception. So it will show the that's why we are not able to see the hello Java, how are you and buy of tribe block. Bye, 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 bye. Answer is not right. Right. Here. One second, execute. Good morning, coming. Four coming. Tata coming. Bye, 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 coming. But. Hello Java, how are you? Why is not coming? So this three lines is not coming. Why? Because there is an exception in hmm. this try block. Hmm. That's why it's not printing. Hmm. And uh, finally block execute anyhow. Hmm. Whether there is exception or not, it will execute hmm. 100%. Hmm. That's why it is printing. Hmm. Just here you should know only one thing if it is exception occurs if it is whenever the exception occurs it will come to directly catch block it will not execute remaining blocks go here we got the exception it will come to catch block it will not execute remaining blocks that is the concept yes okay it will not execute remaining blocks so whenever the whenever the exception occurs it will come to catch block it will not execute remaining blocks that is the logic right yes that is the first point second logic second logic <laughs>
now i am writing 5 year if i execute save click on run good morning hello java how are you bye 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 it is coming tata is not coming why why tata is not coming okay the tata you have which you have put in catch catch mm. catch so block mm. so what because uh, everything uh, is there uh, which is being printed in uh, print stack trace after that it is not printing anything uh, of catch exception no not logic think 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 just okay let me see once again the core <clears throat> now what you ha what ha has happened uh, your try block is uh, running smoothly hmm. there is no exception so if there is no exception so it will not be caught mm, yes. so it will not be caught so it will be not be displayed yes it will not come to catch block you should tell so there is no exception so if it is there is no exception it will not come to catch block directly it will go to finally so there is a reason good morning is coming hello java how are you boy and bye 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 coming tata is not coming why because there is no exception why because i gave uh, int a equal to new int 5 i gave size is 5 5 means there is no exception so if it is there is no exception it will not come to catch block directly it will go to finally yeah that is the concept to exception handling 10 interview yeah. questions already i told you what do you mean by exception how many exceptions in java what do you mean by caught exception what do you mean by uncaught exception what is try what is catch what is finally how to find out uncaught exceptions so what are the main drawbacks in try and catch what is throws what is the advantage advantages of throws throws is nothing but it, it is a pd now i am not showing anything why because in java and selina always we will use only throws only we will use throws only throws 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 